Okay, so here we are. It's Iron Man 4x4 Philippines review on the 300 series Land Cruiser 300 ZX, the local variant. So, interior wise, it's a big, big jump from the 200 series when the 200 did not have a single camera on it. This thing has, I don't know how many cameras, I haven't really counted. So, you can see the various camera angles on by using the view button there you have the front view you have a top view which animates when you turn which is really cool there you go so it's one of the features now we noticed that the front shocks have wires coming into it so I think Toyota kept through to its word with the adaptive suspension. KDSS is gone. There's no KDSS anymore. It's adaptive suspension now. At low speed, I've noticed it to be very soft. Um, noticed a lot of sway compared to my 200. The 200 um, that I had ran Home Cell Pro. So it's really stable and controlled. This one has a lot of sway in it but on the highway last night we were running 100 120 and at that speed I think the suspension stiffens up you jump bridges and it lands really well so if you're slow it gives you about maybe two two cycles before it settles down but at high speed it settles down right away so uh, we'll try to look for dirt roads and a bit of mud to see what, how this does. Now a cool feature I just noticed is the wireless charging. I press the button, your phone in, and there you go. Now so far we've ran it for a little over a hundred kilometers this trip and consumptions at 11 liters 100 kilometers that's come that's a highway with a bit of dirt now I'll give a short burst short acceleration test here just to see how the v6 twin turbo 10 speed does so we're stopped at idle in drive road seems to be clear we'll just do this we'll floor it and it's over a hundred there so that's the power of the v6 twin turbo We're following the Iron Boy. I don't know where he will take us. So he's in our four-inch lift Jeep Rubicon JK. So I hope he doesn't take us somewhere where the new 300 will have a problem. So we'll see. Okay, we'll see if our old school mind can understand how to work this high-tech 4x4 system. So let's put it at four low. Orlo is engaged, put it in drive, then we'll press crawl, so we have crawl there, it's in crawl mode, then we increase the speed, okay, so that's the fastest that crawl mode will go. Now I'm not doing anything, I'm just here for the ride. On crawl mode, there you go. Yeah, 
then it's cool is you can see where your tires are yeah. it's really great <laughs> I think I enjoy this I even think it drives better than me so, we have the iron boy there then we'll try to slow it down you just have to turn the knob Put it at mid, it will maintain that speed. So you're very well informed where your tires are pointing. You have the one for the tires turning. You can see the side of the vehicle on this side, and I can see the side of the vehicle on that side. Now I step on the brake, it's still in crawl mode. There you go, it's doing its thing. No inputs from me. Let's increase the speed. There. To the, uh, to the old school 4x4, four four, four wheelers like me, it's, this is so nice. See? You can get to see where the tire is pointed on the terrain. We don't need anybody to tell us where to go. There, it's still on crawl mode. You see the crawl indicator? Now, I let go of the brake. Now, let's uh, disengage crawl. Press the crawl button. It's off. And we're still in four low. So let's go. Now uh, this is manual driving. So we're up here on this hill. We look for a spot to test the 300 with a bit of mud. We'll see, we'll try to use turn assist and all the features. Um, I hope we don't get stuck. So we found this spot where we can test I think articulation here goes nothing we will slowly go down we're still running in four low then I'll do a U-turn here we'll climb the same obstacle using crawl mode there and we hope we can get up on it so I'll do this manually first we'll do a left turn we'll do a left turn going there and see how it flexes on the on that side so here it goes nothing we'll see what the what the signals from the iron boy is um, we'll try to do Mode select and mode that's sand, it's mud. We'll try rock crawling mode and we'll see if rock crawling mode knows how to get up this obstacle here. Okay, we're at Okay, no 
drama. Now, we found a tiny bit of mud and we'll go into there you go, mud mode and slowly drive through it. Now, now we'll see how this goes. I'll try to choose the road. I've seen the Rubicon go through it, so I know how that portion of the terrain is. So we're in highway tires. And this is very short mud. Seems like it's actually very smooth. We'll do a test of the turn assist when we get on top. This is a really cool feature. Something that I really enjoy looking at and it's very helpful. You see where your tires are going. We can go on an animated view of the tire there. You see the terrain, and it's cool. You can do it this way too. So you see the yellow is your tires. You know where it's pointing all the time. The sides of the vehicle is there. So you're, hopefully you won't damage anything. Now, we'll try out turn assist right here. Okay, we'll try to see if we can make turn assist work. So first, go into drive, go into crawl mode, crawl mode is active, then we press turn assist, now turn assist is active, there you go, and we set speed to medium, and we'll go. So this is a narrow road, we'll see if we can do a U-turn, uh, we'll go full lock, Okay, we did our driving review. Now, this is the local version of the Land Cruiser 300ZX. It has the 3.5 V6 twin turbo diesel. Very weird engine configuration. You can see the two turbos are in the middle. And I think the intake is on the sides. So turbos are in the middle. We can't see anything. I know for a fact the battery is here. We'll, we'll listen to the sound of the V6. We'll start it. We'll close the hood and see the sound with the hood closed. LED everywhere. We have we have 20 rim, 265, 55, 20 tires and wheels. Uh, so far we have what I noticed is we have electronic suspension. We'll give you more details on it as we tear this down, but there's a wire on top of this. So it's got an electronic, electronically controlled damping on the shocks. No more KDSS, that's what I noticed. There's no more KDSS. The rear is very basic. Um, shocks and coils, 
We have a sway bar here. And this is a nice, cute detail. It's uh, sway bar is covered so it doesn't get dirty. And the rest is very nice. Um, power tailgate. So we have our tools and stuff here. A bit messy. Um, it's got a power third row seat. So that's it. Um, we'll do a more detailed review on the interior. After this, when everything is clean, back seat, it's got perforated and air conditioned seats in the back, in front as well. Wireless charging. Multimedia, um, uh, it's a multimedia display. You have a, a cool box cool too. You can open it from here. The driver can open it from his side. The rear passenger can open it as well. So it's nice. Drink holders, glove box. Basic stuff, but powered front seats. The driver's side powered too. Uh, basically, that's it. Sunroof. And that's the 300ZX of Ironman 4x4. Now, we'll keep posting more details on this as we continue using it. Okay, so nighttime cockpit. Heads up display, that's the lights on high beam. We'll take a look at it from outside the window. So that's high beam right there, low beam, high beam, and go back inside. That's the nighttime cockpit on the 300. So everything looks good.